Yes, and even as we are doing this, we try and reduce the cost to the farmer. So that's one of the challenges we are facing. So what are you doing, James, to make sure that these people have equipment? Uh, equipment, you know, I talked to you the last time, uh, but we yeah. have uh, some. Yes. So not good okay. Yeah, okay. Then um, this is the current uh, land production. It's 1,200. It's mainly from the Bunyala scheme. Once the Lonzo year has uh, been operationalized, and I think the project is nine, about 75% done, it will have 6,000 acres. That's for phase one. Phase two will have another 10,000 acres. And uh, this is only the yeah, irrigated. Busia, yes, and Sia is 67%. Okay. Yes. Um, and in addition to that, as we said, mechanization is important. We are working closely with the NIA to ensure that we really bring the proper mechanization. So combined harvester is a big one. The land preparation, which we've already mentioned, planters and all that is done. Now, once we've moved from a mechanization, the most important part again is the post-production. That is once the rice has come out, we focus on proper harvesting, but more important, the drying. What the county has done, invested in uh, ensuring the farmers have a drying flow. This is a drying flow where we dry the, farm, uh, we dry the rice. But uh, during the, uh, when there's no sun, we, try and we are trying to look for investment for electric dryers okay. and moisture. The mill you are uh, launching today is 2.5 tons per day, about 60 tons uh, per day in terms of capacity. Um, so Usonga rice mill, which uh, we have here, is in three phases. The building, which uh, this is fully funded by the county, we spent for, uh, 14 million, that's the building you're seeing here. Um, and then on the equipment, we bought an integrated machine, which you'll, be, you'll have the opportunity again to see. And that has a, a pre-cleaner, distoner, husker, all the way to optical color sorter. We grade the rice and all that. Then in terms 